Talk a little about the, the humor uh, and what video games, especially mobile games, open up to explore, maybe go into areas not explored in the television series. So I think the humor of the game comes from a lot of different places. One of the things that you'll notice in our game is we have these really lush card art. And th this is the idea that the kids are, are dreaming. You know, the child's ima imagination takes them and you might see a character who looks like an alien and with fierce fangs and everything else like that. Then they get onto the battlefield and it's actually just a kid assembled costume. So we're juxtaposing this idea of like, these are kids, they have limited means versus a child's imagination has no limits. So that's one aspect aspect of the humor. The voiceover recordings are done with everyone from the show, so it's all original there. Uh, we've got a story that was written by South Park Digital Studios, which has, like I mentioned, a twist, but it also has lots of gags. You're getting texts sometimes from Timmy, who only can text Timmy, or Jimmy, who, I'm sorry, did I stutter? But it's a text message. So we have all of these different layers that fans will love. We all, as developers, love the show, and we wanted to pay as much homage to the source material while also bringing something fresh to mobile, uh, as you mentioned. So we've got that layer of the phone and also the way that the art and the kids themselves are different. How does the mobile platform itself open up opportunities not only to add things like you had mentioned, potentially superheroes, but also tie in to the actual TV show? This is one thing that we're really trying to master, the tie-in with South Park and being timely. We know how they do their show, if you've seen the documentary. Uh, it's basically done every week by week. So we've been working very closely with them to try and figure out a way to bring content to our game in almost as timely a fashion. So for example, uh, the character Classy was introduced in season uh, 19, I believe it was, and we had worked with South Park in order to be able to do a mock-up if the game were live within days, if if not weeks, we'd have a fully animated version of Classy in our game with voiceover from the show and try to carry the threads from the show into the game. And also we see the show, or the, excuse me, we see the game as an outlet for South Park when they're dark on the show, if they wanted to speak to the fans or they wanted to push a new storyline, for example, the solar eclipse that happened, maybe that's interesting to them. Or if there was some humorous angle to the, the hurricane and the damage, maybe there's a way to do that. But we're really just trying to be another outlet for South Park fans to really appreciate the depth of the show and the humor with it. And we're trying to mine 21 seasons of content after this season and also be as contemporary to whatever's happening as possible.